Welcome back everyone. Today I will show you how to disassemble the Wii map. I recently bought it and there seems to be different hardware versions of this amp. I wanted to know which one did I get. From the outside it looks premium and feels solid. I think that they are using the case as a passive radiator. Let's see if I'm right. We have to get four Phillips screws undone. It is great that the rubber feet are not glued, but they are rubber plugs. I wish that all manufacturers would use this approach. Take a screwdriver and undo four long Phillips screws. It helps if you have magnetic tips. I chose to use a suction tool. I did not want to damage the plastic cover. When removing it, be careful not to pull too hard, because there is a Wi-Fi antenna attached to the cover. I used a wooden picking tool and removed the glue from cable. And carefully removed the Wi-Fi antenna. The glue on bottom cover is soft and can be easily removed. The bottom cover holds in place with these plastic clips. I used the plastic prying tool to get the prying tip under the heatsink. I had to use a slimmer one in the beginning. Then lift up the heatsink and go around the perimeter. Turn it the right way up and the amp is opened up. Watch out, the heatsink is pretty heavy. Carefully remove the aluminum enclosure. All the cable connectors have been glued in place and I did not want to bother to remove them. Let's see what we have in here. There are huge thermal pads to dissipate the heat. All cooling is passive, that's why this amp is very quiet. In the software it showed that I have PCB version 2 and the same is visible on the back of my mainboard. As you can see there is a huge heatsink that is attached to aluminum enclosure, it's being used for cooling purposes. And that's it for today, see you in our next videos, good luck everyone.